Uh, thanks so much, uh, Sodata, for being a part of Valley Advocate Sessions. Uh, for, first, could you introduce yourselves and uh, tell us a little bit about how you guys formed as a band? Sure. <laughs> um, I'm Hannah. Ian. Josh. Andy. Um, so, actually, Andy and I have been playing music for about five years, almost. Um, yeah, something like we started that, in take. 2012 in the summer, and we actually had another band. We're from New York. Um, and then we, funnily enough, we played a house show at this beautiful lady's house for Halloween about three years ago before we even moved up here, and we met Josh playing with his band Fat Bradley there. So we kind of knew each other before we moved up here, and kind of through the avenues of the Northampton music scene, we met you. Actually, through playing a show with you. <laughs> all the connections. And it all just kind of worked out really well. It just we have a really good vibe all together. So yeah, all yeah. sort of fell into place. Should mention that they run an awesome recording studio out of their house in Dr. Yeah. Town. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I've taken both two bands there, and they, they do a great job. So that's, that's part of the deal too. Yeah, it's called yeah, shape we, recording. We do all the production shape for recording. our own stuff and what have you there. In the name of that? Uh, shape recording. Shape recording. Shape you, recording. Uh, how do you guys? How did you guys start that? Uh, some, I grew up with parents who are recording engineers, so some people like grew up milking cows, I grew up my kid drum kits. Um, I just sort of followed breadcrumbs to have a recording studio now. He, yeah. he has the best drum sounds out of any engineer. Oh, recording. stop. It's true. Oh, stop. He's just honest. And uh, you recorded uh, the Sunshine EP yep. there. Uh, yep. What was the process like, and how long did it take? Oh, well, um, we were actually we were working with this drummer, Bram Masla, who is just, oh my god, he's amazing. He was like 18 at the time and just totally blew us away. And we had these kind of pieces of, of songs and um, we ended up working with him on developing them and the studio. And we had about, what, Andy, was like two rehearsals before yeah. we just did the basics. And yeah, we, uh, we sort of came together with, you know, we got this section and this section and we want to do a thing with them and sort of ran them down a few times and then mic'd everything up and tracked it. Um, and then sort of built out the arrangements as we went because when we tracked live it was just uh, myself and Hannah and then Brom on drums so I played guitar or bass for the live tracking as needed to get the best takes for the individual songs and then we sort of just went from there in terms of adding on what needed to be added on for different tunes. Okay. Yeah. So what's the songwriting process like with the band? I mean I, I hear a lot of different like styles and it's a really cool kind of melting pot of different sounds. The I found really amazing. Thank you. Well, he's from a punk background. Yeah. And I'm from like... Well, and, and like <laughs> R&B, like, yeah, you know, rhythm true. and blues. And I'm from like more of an indie rock singer-songwriter avenue, I guess. And we ended up, originally when we met, we were each writing songs and then kind of bringing them together. And uh, We've recently, in the last couple of years, really been writing everything together. Yeah, everything you heard today was really co... We were co-writers on. Um, like truly from from the initial uh, chord progressions up to like the vocals and all the arrangements mm -hmm. and whatnot. And these guys really help us develop stuff. Yeah, they, they show up and make us sound good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have any um, uh, tour dates planned? Uh, tour dates? Not so much. We Local may be going show to dates. Brooklyn in, uh, sometime this summer. But no, we don't have any tour dates. Have any okay, right so, so we, it's just we, a lot of local shows? Yeah, we have local stuff coming up. Oh, we're going to be playing at the Wheelhouse in Greenfield on, I have this written down. I the 23rd of June Thank with you. the Grays, who I believe also did it. Yeah, they season. did. And they're yeah. awesome, yeah. so that's really exciting. Um, so there's that coming up. Then we're playing at Sierra Grill with Eyes and Bat House, and then we're playing at the Leafy's, uh, you Leafy's. gave me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, residency up at the at the arts block, the perch, right? Is that what they're calling it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the perch. Cool. Uh, just uh, let everyone know, my band, the leafies you gave me, is, we're playing together uh, oh. sometime in uh, July, I believe. Cool. Yeah. Forget the date offhand, but me too. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much what we have lined up in the near future, and um, we're hoping to start expanding outside areas as well. Since we're from New York, we, you know, we have some connections going back there, and it's been all very fun to make the trip. We, we played a show back in January for some friends doing an EP release in Manhattan and that was a great time. Yeah, it's a, it's a very different vibe though. I don't, I don't know, I always feel so welcomed in this area versus in New York. It's kind of like, go, go, go. What's up? What's your gimmick? What, what do you think about this area in terms of like, why, why do you think it's welcoming? Well, we went to uh, actually Way before we moved up here, Andy's mom lives in Ashfield, so we were visiting her for a week, and we ended up going to an open mic at the Black Sheep in Amherst. Um, and we were just so surprised that people were really just out listening to music who weren't even playing, and it was just such great vibes that we we've known we knew for a long time before we moved here that we wanted to be in this area. 
for many reasons. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It seems like it seems like, I mean, nobody being perfect, myself included, but like people tend to shoot for mindfulness as a norm instead of like the other things. So I think to me that's uh, a lot of what makes it so welcoming. All right. Well, thanks so much uh, for being a part of Valley Advocate Sessions. Thank you so much for having us.